not looking very busy down here today at Copart. Hopefully we get loaded and get out of here pretty fast. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. Cheeky little wind down at Copart. We was bidding on other cars, this come up. Chris said, look at the mileage on that, 39,000. It was coming up in three minutes. We didn't really have time to go through the pictures, but we thought 39,000, it was on about 500 pound. We thought we'd go to six on that. And we ended up going to 650 and we actually won it. 39,000 miles, 2010. You would have seen on a bit of time lapse, went down there, picked it up, and then I had a little look round it because we genuinely didn't get to look at it too much in the pictures. The car is in lovely condition. It really is nice and straight. Just on the back here, we've got a little car park ding and two little scratches, but they are the only marks round it there. And if you remember, in a... Uh, previous video last year we actually broke one of these in this color so we have got a front bumper for it i'm not gonna lie we get round here to it in a minute it is a lot worse than we actually thought but all very very fixable it is what it is and we will crack on with it so it is a little style model very basic so i thought me and chris did just have a quick look in it it's got usb it's got air con it's got all the bits on it so it has been quite well specced up. The damage guys hit very low down and straight away, that's what I could see when it was loaded on. The gearbox there is actually all smashed on the front. The subframe, if you can see it just here, is all bent. And then if you go a little bit lower down, as you can see there, the gearbox man is actually ripped out of the gearbox. And the engine, let's get up here. Hopefully that opens up. Sorry guys, just trying to get the bonnet up here. Didn't want to um, cut it. I'm gonna have to, I think. Yeah, I'll cut there and get the bonnet up. Sorry about that guys, my bad, because the bonnet's got a dent in it there. It was quite hard to get to that. So you can see that whole front panel's done that. And the engine, as you can see, is sitting at a funny angle. We have what? whopped we've whipped the battery out and put that on charge we want to obviously start the engine we haven't run it yet and the other thing the other thing that we didn't see in the pictures but again not a problem all very very fixable and we've done so many now it's very quick to do it has done the airbags so we're gonna to have to put an airbag kit in it but you can see just by looking at the seats the steering wheel and the gear stick that it has only done those miles so we're still happy with the purchase chris right yeah. it is what it is isn't it it's a bit more work than we thought but yeah. there you go let's get it rolled off get it in the workshop and actually get it up in the air and see how bad it is there and then hopefully i can whip out today get some bits and we get it so that it's mobile so that we can move it around let's do it Guys, <laughs> not one of our better purchases, that's for sure. No, we've never heard Chris say, oh dear, that's how bad it is. So we've got the subframe spin it there. The gearbox is actually all smacked on the front there. But worst of all, that mount has actually ripped out and shattered the gearbox. And as you can see, the gearbox has gone back so far it's actually snapped the steering rack off of its mounting. But the chassis rails are perfectly straight. <laughs> Which is, uh, 
Good well, job, the what, bits are cheap. Yeah, good job, the bits are really cheap. I've just had a ring around. Sheppy Selvage, you've got one of these sitting on the floor over there, ready to collect. Mark Rankin Autos are definitely have the bits for it. But, yeah, the roll bar, you can see even that's bent. No, it's curled. Or is that? No, that's I where the rack so far back. Yeah, where the... It's also done the shafts as well. Yeah. Should I have to talk to Randy here, Chris? Sorry, mate. So that's done the shaft that side, and when you try and turn the wheel, that side, yeah. the shaft's actually right at yeah, the gearbox there. Yeah. yeah. So she is going to want a new engine bed and a gearbox and a steering rack and shafts and shafts before we even start the process of trying to repair it. But just to make life easy, all that has got to come off anyway. We will be removing all of the front panel, the rads. Etc. Etc. We have got all the front. Yeah, the front bumper over there. You can see it in the back background and the front panel, and they're both off that previous parts car I mentioned. So you really can see once you do get under here. This is a lovely low mileage car. Thirty nine thousand. It is a two thousand and ten. It was reasonably priced. I don't think we're going to break any records on profit on it. This is going to be more of a love job. No, we. We certainly won't lose no money. They are very, very cheap for parts. So let's stop talking about it and actually get on and do something about it. Moving along very, very nicely there, guys. The only bit that was a bit of a pain, you would have seen Chris really struggling with that aircon pipe. It wouldn't come out in the end. Even though I took the nut off, he ended up winding the stud right out and able to get that out. So looking down low, it has completely missed. Let me just zoom out a little bit, that's it. From probably there, that's where it's took the impact. It's folded under and it has hit that quite hard to push that back. It's broke all of these gear change cables. They're supposed to be on here. But if you look at that mount there, so you've got the actual mount on the gearbox itself, which is there, and then you've got the mount on the chassis leg here. And you can see how far around it's pulled it, and it's actually ripped that bolt out there. So it's still held in with one bolt on that mount. But if you look down the bottom there, just through here, you can see where it's pulled it out of the car as well. But it's hit it, and you can see there that the roll bar has actually stopped. The gearbox has hit the steering rack and snapped the steering rack off. And then the steering racks, because it's got that loop on the roll bar there, I'm not sure if you can actually see that. You see where the roll bar is just looping over here, over the steering rack, where that's quite strong and springy, it's actually hit that, and that stopped it from going back any further. So as you can see, there's still a nice gap there and it hasn't hit that firewall. It hasn't hit the, the back there. So there's no damage to any of the pipes. There's no damage to that bulkhead whatsoever. That has actually, it's limited to just that area there. So we're now going to get it up in the air probably and start the process. I'm not sure if you can see in there. Give you a little, little peek before we get it all out. But you can see... Just up there and that, just there, the steering rack's actually snapped. And it's uh, snapped clean off of its mount. So the subframes are really easy to get out on these. Just a few bolts, drop the lower arms out. We get all that disconnected and get that dropped out of the way. Then that engine would actually probably pull back forward on its own. But we are going to have to put a new gearbox in it. There's no way of, you, you could repair it, but... Why would you want to? It's had a right wallop, hasn't it? So we just get that. We get a gearbox for it. They're, like I said, they're so cheap now. I just rung 
a friend of ours at the Coimbra Breakers, Sheppy Selvage, and I was asking him if he had any bits, and I said, have you got a gearbox for one of these? He said, to be honest with you, Rob, I've scrapped so many, I don't know if I have. I said, well, I'll bear that I'll bear that in mind when you give me the price that you've scrapped them. And he said, no, honestly, if I've got one here, you can have it for £50. So that's cheap for a gearbox for a Fiesta. I mean, if that was a Fiat 500 one, they're two to £300. That's just a little comparison. So we're going to crack on and get the engine bed removed. We've got everything undone there. All of the main bolts, lower arms are out of the way. Everything is pretty much ready to go. The only bit I think that might be a little bit tight is the bolt on the bottom of the steering column on the knuckle. It was quite tight wedged in there where that steering rack's laddered a bit like that. This side's gone back. It is quite tight, but fingers crossed, we've got two bolts in there loosely and that engine bed should slide straight out. <laughs> Check that steering column, your side and the rack. Look like it's coming out, okay? Yeah, yeah, it's moving. It's gap there. All right, yeah, just stop. That's it. Keep going. All the way, mate. The engine's actually almost gone back exactly where it should be. That'll probably uh, do you there for a minute, mate, which will pull this forward and show the people. So this is the main damage on it. If you can see that upright there compared to that one, even the shafts hit that one. But that is mullered there. It's mullered down there. And this is the bit I was pointing out earlier about, I actually believe that that roll bar stopped it from going back any further. So if you look at this side, guys, look at that gap in there. You know, it's, you get a couple of fingers in there, it's a reasonable size gap. Then when you move along here, you can see it getting slimmer and slimmer. And there, I believe that that's gone back, hit that, and that has stopped it from going any further. So now all this is out, the actual only damage on the car is that gearbox, Chris, isn't it? Yep. We've got no damage here, no damage to any of the holes, none of the chassis moved, nothing like that. That bolt come out of the chassis up there, perfect. That was all nice. So I think we made quite light work of that, but that gearbox really did. That's where it's hit the drive shaft, isn't it? There and there. Yep. And it's pulled it out. It's got no ends left on it. So we're going to want a couple of shafts for it. And that's the main mount there. We actually broke it off. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below about this video. It's um, trying to show as much as we can of it. And Chris said, you know what, Rob? Let's really crack on and try and actually get all of the damage stripped off the car in one video, which will be lovely. So we'll continue on. this bit live as well guys taking the gearbox out 
I know a few of you did see it the other day on the Fiat, but we're here anyway, so let's do it. Got one up the top there, Chris. Yeah. We left one bolt in and left the mounting in as well. I think that is, I might have to bar that out, though. That is pinched, there's a little it's bit there. Yep, yep, yep. Well, there's a bit of gearbox. That's it, mate, That's got nothing else holding that. Just need enough angle to miss the chassis, mate. Can't come up any, can you? Yeah. If you could. Yes, mate. Okay. Be all right lifting that one. Right. Well, that is, is it? And there we go. All of the damage removed. <laughs> we now got. <laughs> we now got to start the process of really putting it all back together, but. We haven't actually been round and got the gearbox and stand. It was kind of silly. You could see a lot of what we needed, but of course there was a lot that we didn't see. So I'll now whip round the breakers yard. We'll sit here, make a list. I'll go round. Wants a clutch in it as well. We might as well, yeah. It's done 39,000, so we, we, I mean, it'd be crazy to actually put a, new, uh, put a gearbox back in that now without doing it because that's probably its original clutch, but let's just bring that round there a little bit and show you. I have to lower this down a little bit. Yeah, that's this is original, Chris, isn't it? Sash clutch. But all in a day's work, and it's actually still quite early, so we we have been on it since this morning, but managed to do it. Or why, but what is the time? I don't even know. It's lunchtime, yeah. I know quite a lot of you do keep reaching out about the clock, and I am going to make a point of it now. It doesn't need a battery. The clock is actually broken. We've tried batteries in it several times, so unfortunately, it is toast. Let's ring up the breakers yard, make a list, and go and get some of the bits we need. So we're quite happy. Sometimes things go really well, and as you know, sometimes things don't. This car is... I'm, you know, now we've got to put a clutch in it and it is a lot more, it's a lot more parts than we initially thought. So I think we're aiming for kind of breaking even on this car, to be honest with you. And I think in its favour, it is very, very low mileage. I'd like to think it's maybe a one owner, possibly a two owner car with those miles on it. But unfortunately, until you get stuck in, that is the salvage game. That is the motor trade. You can't win them all. And this one, I don't think we're going to be winning on. But I'm sure it's going to turn out to be quite a nice car. Was I being a bit optimistic, thinking we got a front bumper for that car? <laughs> the answer to that is yes. It was never going to be a front bumper, was it? But in your mind, you do get carried away. And I'm sure that that, that co-part music in the background is a bit... Um, Hypnotic, is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah. So we've got, I think it comes to about 876 yeah. with the fees. So it's not a bad price, is it? But once you start pricing up all them bits, brand new clutch, you know, probably oil and filter and new gearbox, new engine bed, we'll see. The bits are reasonably cheap, like I said earlier on. So we're just, we'll play it by ear and just keep going and see how we get on. So anyway, that's enough waffle. This, um, Chris has ripped me a nice list out of parts. I'm actually going to drive around the breakers yard. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm actually going to try and get a parts car off of him, like we did last time on the late Fiesta and also we did on the Fiat 500. He's quite nice to us around there. We've known him a long, long time. And it's just all the little bolts and clips and bits and pieces 
it would make sense to get a parts car, bring it back here, strip off what we need, take it back and pay the bill. So that is going to be the end of today's video. As usual, we do hope that you do enjoy it. You're going to let us know what you think of the car in the comments section down below. And of course, I will be there to answer them. Don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. The links for everything we used is in the description down below. Check out the merchandise and we'll see you later in the week for the next one.